messed everything up. I gotta click the outro instead of the intro. Welcome to the show. Ah! Also, I'm getting a low signal, and um, that's a crap because I have a really good signal. So I hope it's good. It's been a long day, but we're here, and yeah, I have like 800 millibytes a second, so I don't think that, uh, I don't think that, uh, I'm having issues, you know what I'm saying? Let's get into the painting. What's up, Metal? Thanks for being here. I need to get some um, paper towels. Oh, wait, I got some. Look at me. It's been a long day, long day of killing bed bugs. Killed a whole bunch of bed bugs today, and then I uh, yeah, I killed a whole bunch of bed bugs. It took all day, and there was lots of dead bodies. And now, we're to this. The duality of man. So, when I was... Um, when I was doing my bed bugs, I was, well, let's soften up this brush a little bit first of all. And when I was doing the old bed bugs, destroying them, I, um, I didn't like this line. I felt like I needed to, uh, I feel like I need to come down like that. That's some grateful people. Um, grateful people. Uh, we'll see how it goes. These people, basically, the too long didn't read of it is that most of the time. I go to bed bug jobs and I do it. I never see the people again. Occasionally I'll go to the bed bug jobs and then I'll have to um, go back there again just to click, clean them up basically, like finish them off in like a month or something. But um, this job in particular, I've had to go back um, five times. There's some factors that I don't need to get into because it's just too much. Basically, if there's like the way that bed frames are and stuff, if they're, if they're made out of like two by fours or something, there's just lots of places for them to hide. And it, and um, basically, yeah. So um, I think we're all just going to patiently wait and see. I, I told them at the end of the day, hopefully I never have to see you guys ever again. I like them, but Fuck that, that place. I'm over it. So, yes, grateful people, but uh, we shall see. We shall see. And actually, yeah, I was, uh, I also, because I was thinking about this painting, well, that's not the one I wanted to go to. I also, not that you guys will be able to see. But I, I took a bunch of pictures of trees as I was driving around today. Because I liked how some of them looked. Like this one. It's, it's got the right um, color scheme for this painting. No problem. Leave the nightmares at work. Yes, sir. Will do. Yeah, it just kind of sucks. I... Um, I just feel like my, my job is to resolve people's problems. And then when it's like, but if I do like 200 bed bug jobs a year, say, um, there's going to be a, at least a couple of them that don't go that well. Cause the enemy gets a vote, you know, 
the enemy gets a vote in like uh, what's up or sometimes there's just like factors you don't there's just factors if you go to that many jobs there's just shit happens that's outside of the normal scope of um the regular treatments like most people I don't know I guess we're talking about bed bugs now most um mostly every treatment is like pretty standard but then you do see some weird shit I told one guy one time when I was at his house for something, I was like, yeah, it's kind of like a cool job because you get to see some cool stuff. And the guy's like, yeah, when it's not your house. And I was like, oh, that's a good point, sir. <laughs> I tell it to customers all the time. Actually, I probably didn't say that's a good point, sir. I probably just laughed really hard. <laughs> like that. Not professional. It's not that professional. Um, just squirting out some paint. Um, what do I want to get into? I, I'm thinking that this is not going to. This is going to be more just a. Tonight is probably most likely going to be about an hour long paint session. I actually feel decent, surprisingly. Because, like, I left early, had to drive to get to where I was going. And um, I don't know. I forget what I was talking about. It just took a while. The whole day. So, let's... Uh, Talk about what we're going to do. I have to make a decision. <clears throat> this is what I have to do today. I have to make a decision. The decision is... My decision is do I... Add in a bunch of green... Or leave it pretty folly colors because I do kind of like um, I do kind of like the I do kind of like what's going on right here right now you know what I'm going to do I just decided I'm going to mix up a little bit of viridian and a little bit of yellow ochre like it's going to be a greeny okay we're mixing up a very um, yellowy green. And then we're going to take this brush. I'm going to take, oh, that's not a good one. This brush, I'm going to put in a little bit of thinner. It's got some white on it. We don't want that. And then I want to see, I want to see. Just maybe I should just put a stroke on there and see. Okay. I guess we're going green. Like I, th I think I want, I, I want considerable amount of yellow to be poking through. But I also, uh, I think I like some of the, I also realized today that I really do need like a, another photo shoot in the next couple of weeks to get me through winter. Cause I'm just going at to, uh, cause like I probably won't do another photo shoot then until like March or something. You know, and um, I don't know. I just need to get on it, figure it out. I got a couple of girls. Maybe I'll go. I don't know. Maybe I'll could do both. I don't know if I have that much money. I bought a. Uh, I bought a new monitor. I bought a new monitor today. So this this monitor gets an upgrade. It's got better colors on it. 
And then um, this one's going to go over here and become my other monitor. I'm just going to have two really good ones here. So now I'll have three decent ones, which is like dope. There's this thing you can get called a stream deck and it like presses buttons and it can switch all the cameras and stuff. And I kind of think that I want one of those as well, but um, I don't need it. That's just a, that's just a want. That's not a need to have. Well, either is the other monitor. Well, actually that's kind of not true. The other monitor will let me make better art because um, I don't know. I'm just trying to justify it. I'm staying within my budget. It's okay. Wouldn't you want a snowy winter scene to paint? Um, well, here's the thing, Metal. Then I have to go outside when it's cold to take the photos. Can you, can you see my dilemma? I want to... <clears throat> Yeah, that's probably actually the reason. Let's just be honest. That's probably it. Would that be cool to have a snowy winter scene to paint? Sure. Um, it would also be cool to not be cold. Do you know why I don't snowboard? I don't want to be fucking cold. Like, why? I bet so many girls that snowboard and I just wish that I had like, I, I wish that I snowboarded because it would be like something we could do. You, you know what I mean? We could just go snowboarding or something. And um, I just fucking don't because it's cold. Um, I worked outside year round six or seven hours a day. Meet the Fockers. Um, at my pest control job, I go from like, I got back from Thailand this year in January 15th, say ish, January 15th to October is mostly bugs. And there's still a little bit of bug stuff to do till December, but my um my 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 boss also has a business putting up people's Christmas lights. Um, so I do the Christmas lights. I actually run the Christmas lights thing for him. Basically, he's actually going to help this year, which is nice. But um, the plan is is that I'm going to like set up the Christmas lights and stuff at people's houses um, and do the Christmas lights thing. And then basically from January to um, from January to March, there's not that much bug stuff to do. And we can take as much time off work as we want to. And um I would basically like to uh, not work. I I don't. I want to not work as much as I can, so I can do painting. And um, that means not. What does that mean? It means not. Um, doing a whole bunch of other stuff during that time. And not, also not spending money because I won't have that much coming in. So like paying a model between three and 500 bucks to go for a photo shoot is just like something I kind of 
Um, I don't know. January to March needs to be like my main painting time. And I can't be distracted from that. I need to get everything else ready in the rest of the year. Next year, I'll also be a lot better on photo shoots because I'll have more... Um, I don't know. Nil Rim, comment for support the journey. Appreciate you, dude. Thank you for the comment and the support. Also, when I was out of my job today, I realized that I also need to make like a which wouldn't be too complicated, but I also need to make like a portable, I need, to, I need to make a portable streaming setup. Oh, you can't see this. I need to make a portable streaming setup because um, there's probably gonna be a couple of days where I'm not able to make it back home in time. But I like today I could have painted when I was at work. Um, most of the time I'm going to people's houses or businesses, so they'll have Wi-Fi and stuff. It'd be very rare. Today was actually a rare day where there was no Wi-Fi. But um, basically, I don't know. Well, basically. This one already has more colors. I likey. Yeah, the other ones. Um, the other ones have lots of colors. They just. Um, I just did so many similar things, like because it was like a similar environment at the same time of year that photo shoot was. So it's just like. Uh, this is way different, right? I also like this though. That's why I was kind of nervous about putting in, um, I didn't know how much green I wanted to put in basically because um, I didn't want to know how much green I wanted to put in because of a reason. And that reason is, I like the orange. This is one of the ones where I was talking about yesterday where um, I need to not just, I need to not just uh, be a slave to the reference photo. I need to make my own decisions. I need to make my own decisions on this. Like the color, the the values really blowing out on, on, especially on the sky, and that needs to go way darker, dude. I don't even know what I'm thinking. Okay, let's do this. Um, I 
Okay. More green, more cowbell. Um, yesterday I was talking about how if I get this right in here, it will make this moment the most impactful. I still think that's correct. <clears throat> I was thinking a lot about, um, the, um, what we were talking about yesterday with like the point of focus and the focal areas and stuff. Cause like, I think that if I'm going to, um, I think that sometimes with the background and stuff, if I do the best job on it, you shouldn't notice almost. Like I was thinking of some photos or some photos. I was thinking of some paintings in particular that are like, no. And then I was asking myself if I knew that had figures in them. And I was asking myself if I knew um, what the background was. And then I Googled search the pictures to see if I could remember or what parts I did remember. And then I was like, oh yeah, I knew that tree had red in it. Um, but I forgot that like this stuff behind her was like all black and you know what I mean? I don't know. It was just kind of a neat thing. How do you remember? Oh, my heart is like a haunted house. We'll bring back some of these oranges and stuff that are in here. Um, sup with the trains. Sup with the train. Is this a graphics video with the trains? Oh, that's funny. Did you watch some of the videos? Can you hear trains? Did you hear one go woo woo? I'm so like, uh, well, actually, I just had some music blasted. But um, 
I don't know if you heard it. Okay, uh, those trains are about, this is interesting. Two things about the trains, okay? The trains is behind me. On um, I have the windows open because it's just nice, basically. So we're just getting all the shit from outside. Dogs barking, trains. I just, uh, it's good to have ventilation in a studio, basically. Um, but what else was I going to say is that... Um, It's behind me. Sometimes those trains go by, and when they, because there's like a, they must have to blast their horn at the at the at like a crossing that they go past for whatever reason, because they always blow it at all fucking times. I like it. I, I like. It. I don't even. It doesn't bother me. I like it. You know what I mean? But um, basically, to the story that I'm not getting out of my mouth. Sometimes the trains will go by and I'll go wah, wah. and uh, then all the coyotes howl afterwards and it's really cool. And did you know that a female coyote will ovulate differently depending on the amount of calls in the area? Isn't that crazy? Okay. And this is the other crazy thing about the trains. Okay. My house is on a trailer and then I've like leveled it out and stuff with like little supports, but it's a tiny house, right? It's, it's built on a trailer basically. Um, and if I, if I lay in bed, the train, the, the train's like far, like kilometers away. Okay. Um, but if I lay in bed, when the train goes by, I can feel the house, the house just like very softly vibrating. I can feel the train going by. I think it's fucking cool. Like not enough that like, like you have to be like really like if I was standing here, I wouldn't notice. I don't think, but um, yeah, if you're laying down on the bed, you can feel that train going by. It's kind of neat. I think it's neat. I imagine some people might think it's scary. Well, my heart is like a haunted house. It's a funny reference. Did you watch a bunch of his videos, though? Did I say that? Did I say that? That guy has two cars going by. Yep. It's neat. What's the two tonight? Yes, I watched some. Nice. Um, um, I was listening to Florence the Machine. This haunted house song. It's only two minutes long, but I kind of like, uh, I don't know. It's just, it, it just was like, it came up on that Spotify, that Spotify custom shuffle thing. Cause it's not like on my playlist or whatever. And I was like, Ooh, I've been listening to very much floor. just cause I needed like, uh, I think I just needed some novelty in my ear holes. And then I found a, uh, I don't know. I was listening to it really loud. I was going to listen to some more of uh, Glitter Fox too, but uh, I don't know. I just, sometimes I'll start playing music and then I'll just shut it off for a minute. And then I'll just like get into the zone of painting or whatever. And I'll just totally forget about it. 
Oh, you know what else? You know what else? I want to figure out if I need to do on this. Not if I need to do on this. Also, um, this obviously needs a lot of work. I gotta like stop putting that caveat on it, but this obviously needs a lot of work. But uh, this is uh, putting those greens in is the right choice. It was the right choice not to not to leave that because I can I can add way more like I can add way more I can add way more yellowy orange in, back in. And in the morning I give such a pride. My heart is like a haunted house. Let's put some of this on top and see what happens. Oh yeah, nice. Do you remember? Oh, I was definitely gonna make some some um, leaves that were blowing in here. Like I've got them marked out here, 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 like four or whatever. And those will probably be a little bit more chromatic and probably a little bit lighter value than whatever else is on the background just to like separate them out. But I was also, I was also debating if there was somewhere in here. Oh, this looks nice. Actually this color combination right now. I think this would be nice. Um, I was debating though, if I want to put like a couple of bigger leaves like once she's like done pretty much don't want to come in here with like a big stroke here that would be like like that's a decision i also got to make and in the morning i get such a bright light my heart is like a haunted house. I kind of like, uh, maybe I don't, I don't know. Do you remember? I hear the music in the bed. I'm worried today about these colors becoming too muddy, basically. Like, I definitely don't feel like I'm creep keeping these colors very intense right now, which I mean, it's fall. They don't, it's not, in, that's not true. They're not intense colors. That's a very not true statement. Like, catch yourself. You're fucking lying. Why are you always lying? Yeah, that's just not true. There's a very intense colors in the fall. They're just not the same colors that are normally um, that are normally intense. They're different colors, but that doesn't mean I get to make an excuse about not having um, intensity. So this can come down here.
Let's do this. And in the morning, I was such a kind of And let's do a little bit more. Dude, you know what song I heard today in the grocery store? Maybe Mambo Number no. 5 by Lou Bega. Is that what it is? Mambo? A little bit of Jessica. Here I am. Yeah, this is definitely it. Makes me your man. Ah. More yellow. More yellow. Way more yellow. This is better.
just want to scrub this in. Somebody, sometime. Do this, cut in here, put it down. Trailer for sale rent. No, no pool, no pets. I got no cigarettes, not two hours of pushing broom by the a bot four bedroom. I'm a man, I mean, king of the road. What stock is I have found? Okay, how's this going? Decent. Better. And then every lock, it ain't lock when no one's around. What do I want to do? Uh, back to not loving it. It's not like horrible or anything. I just, uh, It's got to speak to me. It's got to tell me what it needs. And right now, I don't know. I need a drink. Whoops. I'm knocking shit over. King of the road. Got some spicy water. Thank <sighs> you. 
Hmm. Oh, I don't know what I'm doing. I'm just making a mess. My reference photo has another stick going right here, but it's really um, it doesn't complement. It doesn't complement um, anything. Let's do this. No, this is dumb. Uh, I don't know. I'm doing this. Okay, let's do it anyways. I guess we're just. I, just, I guess we're just doing this. I'm gonna put a little bit of dark umber in here. Dark umber, raw umber. It is dark, but it's not. That's not the right name for it. Thanks a lot. It's good to be here, be with all I can see. So many friends. Oh, Meeple needs water. Hold on. It's in a row. And only five on points. Yes, dude. I know I see you. Hi, dude. Oh. Sorry, just give me one sec. Frack on. Finally catch you live and live see your son, Scott. Thanks for showing up, dude. Thanks for coming back. Appreciate you. You're, uh... <clears throat> yeah, I remember you. You're a BC boy. You're semi-local. Close. But you don't have to dox yourself. But thanks for showing up, dude. I'll show you Meeple in a second. I just, uh, Meeple actually needs a haircut. I just, hell yeah. Nice. The whole gang's back together. I'm good until somebody changes their profile picture, and then I'm like, who the fuck is that? 
Me, you want to come here, baby? Come here, dude. You want to come sit with me? You want to come sit with me? Loving the movement of the conversation. Thank you, sir. Oh, he's... Look at how shaggy he is, though. I don't... I like his hair when he's, like, got long ears and stuff because he looks cute, but I, I, I like him being able to see really nicely. So I got to give him a haircut. See how this is? This fluff is all in his in his way, and his body is also. Uh, he's got his he's got his winter. He's gearing up. Um, I also like the movement in this piece, I think. Like, it's, uh, I don't know. It's just a unique pose. I like how she's looking here and her dress is going out. I'm debating. I'm debating right now about if I want to. Like I'm definitely going to have some floater leaves in the background. But I'm debating if I want to put some bigger floater leaves in front of her after she's done pretty much. Just being like ballsy and putting them on there. Um, I think I currently though I did I did like a lot more of the orange and the yellow that I had in there before. I think just for where it's at, meat for a bowl. But if I want some of those greens in there, I feel like they have to be in the background more like that, which means I can come over top of it again tomorrow. You know? And I need to be able to do stuff like this. Um, <clears throat> okay, I guess I got to make some, I feel like I'm, this day has been kind of like a puttering around day, whereas like I haven't had to, um, I mean, in this stage of the painting, there's a lot of play in the sense of, um, there's a lot of play in the pa painting in the sense of, um, I can fix stuff pretty easily. There's probably not going to be very many marks on here that are going to stay all the way to the end. Maybe like a little into the other underpainting, but um, but I'm definitely <clears throat> I'm definitely going to start getting into a spot really soon where um, some of the marks that I'm making I want to just put down and leave them. So that means thicker paint, and that means making some choices on color. If I want, if I want these leaves to pop out on the canvas, if I got some like some some floating leaves in there.
You know what I just realized though that I could do? I could just knock in um I could just knock in a couple of big leaves in front right now while there's nothing painted there. Because I can I can remove them right now really easily. You know what I mean? Like this is my chance to try it out. That's an interesting thought. Do I want to do that? I guess so. I guess we're just uh, going for it. Okay, let's do it. A little bit of red. Um, I basically think that it would look cool. But I also think that um, if I do it wrong... It will not look cool. And it's also going to be something that's like right at the end. But I just really feel like that. Um, I feel that if I had. I think I need an odd. I think I need an odd number. I think I need three leaves. If I'm going to paint big leaves in here, oh, you know what I can do? I could just like use post it notes and take them on there for a second just to see what it would look like. Like, I know this is not a good, um... okay, this is kind of a wacky idea. This is kind of a wacky idea, but let's, uh, let's see if it works. Okay, so let's do. I got these. I got these post-it notes, little post-it notes, and uh, this one I want to make like. Like it'd be like a leaf that would like be here. Let's cut it out. <laughs> I just want to get a sense of like where they would go to. I think they also, I think that partly what they need to do is like overlap her. Um, and then I'll take a little bit of this acid free tape and I'll put them on there just to see. We're just playing. We're just seeing, you know. Oh, actually, on um I don't know on video it looks decent. See if there was a leaf that's a, that that's not a very good looking leaf, but um So let's see. Let's um I was like picking up leaves and stuff today and I was like, oh actually you know what I have a yellow one here too. I don't know. Like, this is a weird crinkly shaped leaf, but let's uh, put it on there. See, I don't know if like my intuition tells me that if I put some big leaves in there, if I put like big leaves in there, it's okay. But one of them, one of them has to overlap her dress. And you can't put anything here because it's going to look like she's pooping it out. There is room over here. All right, because this is all wet. That's so funny. I'm just trying to stick it on wet paint. It'll work.
What do you guys think? I need some input. I must do like a. I don't know. These are kind of weird shaped leaves, but they're just. You guys have to use your imagination, okay? Use your imagination. The painting's gonna be a lot like closer to where it's at. And then, like, do I? Oh man, that's a lot of pressure. Definitely no poop leaf. Okay, so we got no poop leaf. Well, this one should go over here. Let's put this one over here in the wet paint. It's it's not it's not like um I don't think it's a I don't think it's a horrible idea. I think that I got some pretty horrible shapes going on right there. Like personally, but I, I, th I think the idea is um, the idea is not bad. I either have to do, I ha I have to do. For some reason, in painting, if you do an even number of things, um, generally, not great because people pair them together. People put them into a group. So you have to do an odd number. So like to me, that might not look... Hmm. Do I need to do five? Do I do smaller leaves so that they're like closer to her? I made another leaf, but it's going to be really square. Don't judge me. I'm literally just ripping up paper now and put it on. Uh, see what I mean about four looks weird. For some reason. I don't know why. Even numbers, not great. We'll just do another one. So my grouping, my grouping, my grouping needs to tell the story of motion as well. Like I need to have one hanging off the edge, like not literally, but it just needs to, it, it needs to terminate at the edge. Well, I just about fell on my thinner. Like, is that better? They seem a bit big. Yeah, I was kind of thinking that they're way closer to the viewer, but I guess that doesn't really, um, and maybe you're right. Maybe they are way too big. Like how big is that one? They need to be bigger than this.
Okay, so I guess if I want to add these in, though, the question is why am I adding them in, right? Like, it's fine to have the idea, but they need to be... It needs to be working with... It needs to be working with the painting that I'm making. Like, I just was talking before about how the whole... The whole background needs to, like... It should just complement the whole thing. But even if you put stuff in the foreground, it still needs to complement the whole thing as well. Does that go there? Do you remember... I think that this needs to come in here like this. And this. Um, I would say that that is definitely the best. That's definitely the best arrangement that i've had so far but like why are why is everything so low why is there not why is there not stuff up high if there was going to be some if there was going to be stuff in front it should be like I'm not, am i imagining that these leaves are blowing off of the ground or am i imagining they're falling from the trees i was kind of um i was kind of imagining they were Blowing off of the ground, I think. Fracken says they definitely emphasize that the dress and her hair is in those positions because of the gust of some kind, in my opinion. Yeah, I agree. Because, like, the thing I like about the thing, one of the things I like about this pose, though, it wasn't really windy when we took this photo. Um, if you could see the reference, well, you can't see the reference. Flip, I'm an idiot. Um, the thing about her hair is that it's really flat. Her dress is poofing out, right? I also imagine that there's a gust of wind here on this thing, but her hair, I can make it a little bit more, I can add in more hair. I can make her hair, I can paint her hair differently so that it looks like there's a gust of wind, basically, is what I'm trying to get at. Um, I've, I've, I've framed her on this, like she's, she's over, this is pretty much right on halfway. It might actually be right on halfway. Yeah, that's, that's bang on halfway this into the center it's about halfway and about what is this 8 5 24 what's 44 divided by 3 16 yeah it's about one third down and it's halfway in there which is like nice but she's on this half of the painting so say if this is the this is the center line of the painting she's on this half and because there's extra room on this side it i think that it the it lends the it lends the viewer to see the motion more because she's not cut off. Ballsy is good. Okay, we'll go for it. What about there? How about there? Because I already had a leaf that was going to go there, but I can just make that one bigger. I'm the one. The one thing I don't, because this, this, like on her dress here, as you guys can see, I'm going to make that the. I know that that I said that this is the focal point, 
but this is also like a complimentary area, like what's happening in there. I think that that also, that's like the secondary part that needs to be important. What if this goes? No, I think that was good. Something about this looks more natural than um, whatever I was doing before. I actually like how it's off the ground a little bit. Or does, or does this one go over here? So that could be another option. Um, I also kind of think we can't just spend all day looking at it. We got to make some decisions. If you're going to do it, just do it. Otherwise we won't, we won't get any paintings done. This is going to be the problem. Do you remember the heart of... So I can still do that. One, two, three, four, five, six. Now I'm thinking, do I do seven? No, I go with five. I go with five. We leave it. We leave it. I don't know what this one's gonna look like. It doesn't really matter. I can just kind of make like because the leaves are folding, it's basically like a crumpled, a bit of a crumpled mess. It kind of doesn't matter how I make it. As long as it like I can fix the shape afterwards if it's too homogeneous. Like if they're all the same. Oh, you know what I'm realizing that I should do now? You know what I think that I should do? I'll try to show you on camera with a piece of paper. Because I just see the shape of these two leaves are going to be way too similar especially sitting right next to each other. But if you had a piece of paper that was coming in like this, okay, one time my friend drew this 2D animation in high school. I remember this guy, John. Fuck, what was his last name? I don't need to, I remember his last name. We're all good. A really nice guy. Anyways, um, he drew this piece of paper that was like, that folded in the wind and it took him forever and he was really good at drawing. And, um,
yeah, it was like it folded in the wind and it blew past this garbage can. But I'm thinking that if I did like the five different stages of this leaf turning over. This leaf tumbling. I think it would be um better. Like now that I'm looking at this, because I just no noticed that I had all the shapes pointing the exact same way, which is like it wasn't this one was not a planned out thing, you know what I mean? So kind of like understandable, but maybe if I did this, this one goes like there. Okay, that's good. Let's do that. They don't have to necessarily be in the order of that animation, like I was talking about, but that but that I think that I don't know. It's kind of a random. You can't help what uh, <laughs> you can't help what you were thinking about. Let's do this. Let's do this. Yeah. I wonder what that. Guy, I wonder what that John's guy is doing. I really liked him. He was just a quiet guy, but he was nice. Okay, this is uh this needs to go darker. Well, I mean that needs to be way more high chroma. It's okay. I, I got to just do this slowly. I can't like um can't all be perfect. And also Things don't need to look the way that this one can just be floating. And we'll go like, I think we'll go like cad red light, like a big proportion of that one there. And maybe a little cad red deep. Yeah, it's so funny. It seems like it's such a big like uh, decision to paint all this, but like, um, if I don't like it at this point in the painting, it's so uh, easy to fix. It's kind of funny the the obstacles that you uh, create in your mind. Yeah, these two are definitely too close. I need to do something with this. I think this one needs to just get turned sideways, like. And then this can just be, this one can just be, oh. Oh, you know what, though? The thing, the thing that I was, um, one of the things that I didn't, like, take into consideration is that I'm going to be putting something here that's probably going to be a higher value. And it's basically going to probably look like, um, Like you're really risking take putting something that's going to take everything off the edge of the painting, but that's kind of the fucking point. You know what I mean? It will definitely need to be a lower value than than these other ones. Like, um, but I, I, um, I don't know. Look at how easy that is. Let's just do this. Okay, what do I want to do there? This one needs to be like... Do you remember? Okay, let's do it. Let's do it. Let's do it. Right here like this. Okay, and then we'll go for some um uh well 
guys, we took a turn. Didn't think that uh, this is where this one was going today. But it's where we got to. Do you remember? I don't hate it. I don't hate it. I think it needs some work for sure, but like, uh, Okay, decent. Okay. I'm not exactly... I don't know. Cool. And then I guess when I come down to paint th this one's on the bottom here, I can also paint like, 
I could also put some that are like lifting off the ground, basically. I'm not sure if I needed to put an or no. I think this one probably gets eliminated. It can, it can go more up here. That's a little too close to that one, though. Maybe it can't go there. We'll just cover it up. Look at that. Oops. No one will know. Happy little accident. Um. What was I going to say? Yeah, I think uh, I wanted to put at least one in front of her dress so that it gave the illusion of depth. What else do I think? I think that I think this might be it. I think I would like to sit with this. I think I'd like to sit with this for a bit. I, I, I like the yellow before more in here than this green. The green's not horrible, but it's, I don't know. I like something about the yellow and orange. I gotta go. I'll go back and look and see what I think. I like the I like the color scheme before. I think a little bit more, but like I mean, you also can't um, just rest on like you can't just leave it at the underpainting stage because you liked it. You know what I mean? Yeah, I'm going to sit on this. Thanks, everybody, for showing up. Appreciate you uh, helping me out. Good seeing some familiar faces, some new ones, and goodbye.